The <laughs> other thing we attended this past weekend, they sort of let their hair down for this, dressed up because the theme was speakeasy soiree. Mm-hmm. So it was a 1920s, roaring 20s mm-hmm. style party. And here's where the Chamber of Commerce got it right. First of all, it was a great value. It was 40 bucks. Yeah, which is really good because you got some great food out of it. Right. Catering by mm-hmm. A Street Soup Market. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was yeah. great food. And man, you know, A Street Soup ham. Market really has done... <laughs> yeah, they did have ham. But they really have made a little bit of a killing lately. Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like they've done really well for themselves, especially in the sense that in general, a lot of restaurants will close down pretty quick. But they're, you know, they're here to stay. Mm-hmm. They've been here for at least like, what, five, six years now? And every once in a while, they'll welcome the chef from Diablos mm-hmm. for a little, I don't know, brunch style thing. But oh, Which I love so much. Y'all need to do that more. <laughs> so they had ham, but they also had tri-tip sirloin. Mm, which, which was so good. Great. But here's where the Chamber of Commerce got it completely right. No keynote speaker. Mm-hmm. They had three things. They had drinks, dinner, and dancing. And that was it. Yeah. And that's all you need to have. And it was great. So Mm -hmm. they celebrated their 120th anniversary Mm -hmm. since 1904. Wow. Man, that's a long time. And they had, what was the band? They had the Jazz House Big Band playing jazz standards. I definitely think that they uh, completely lived up to their name. They're incredible. Yeah. They were very jazzy. Yeah. (laughs) And I I like that kind of stuff. I especially like it when they just sort of, you know... They established, like Mozart was famous for doing, first you establish the theme, Mm -hmm. and then you do every single possible variation. I don't know if you've ever heard his variations on Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Oh, really? Also known as the Alphabet Song, Mm -hmm. also known as Ba Ba Black Sheep. They all share the same tune. Right. But he, you know, basically plays the main tune and then just goes off. Right. Uh Uh-huh. And yeah, they you have did some that. fun with it. Yeah, they had some fun with it. Yeah, well, and I don't know if you remember that scene from La La Land where Ryan Gosling takes Emma Stone to a jazz club and he's like, and look, like this guy's going to go and he's going to play his little ditty yeah. and then this guy's going to take over yeah. and da da da. Like that. Yeah. yeah, and it did get me kind of more into jazz. I was like, all right. Yeah. I yeah, love cool. that stuff. Yeah, but it was great music all night. Aaron. Our friend Erin, who, let's see, you said used to work where? She used to work at Studio One, which is where I did ballet when I was seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And she's still at it. I know she mm-hmm. taught us how to do the Shapoopy dance right. in the Music Man a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. She's a local choreographer. I, she does a couple of different things. She apparently also did choreography for Thoroughly Modern Millie. Okay. Which is exciting. So here she is teaching just a little bit. Watch just a little bit of this. So you touch and you step, and you touch and you step. Now, if you notice with my voice or even with my body, I have a little bounce, I have a little bounce. And if this is too basic for you, you half moon it, half moon it, half moon it, half moon it. Now, And if you missed what she just said, it's keep your knees together, ladies, at least for the dance. (laughs) Right. She was funny. She threw out a couple of zippy little one liners. And I don't know if you could see Carly Morgan in her fabulous gold (laughs) flapper dress. The same one that I used for the Taylor Swift party, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Which finally recycled the dress. (laughs) Yeah. That's an era. Yeah. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And how is it that the women just picked up on those dance moves like that? And the men were kind of. And I got to say, I'm proud of the gentleman who mm-hmm. gave it a good go, but they obviously did not have the dance aptitude mm-hmm. that you ladies had. Yeah. by the I mean, by the time she was done with her little lesson, I think it was only women on the floor, okay. which by the way, we were all just dripping in sweat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I, I was a little surprised that you didn't hop out there because I know that you talked about wanting to maybe practice the Charleston before we went. I would love to have a private tutor and unlimited time to learn to dance. Well, I mean, I did used to dance if you ever want to give it a go. Ooh, well, it snuck up on us. That's our show. Uh, usually we give you some warning, <laughs> but that's it. That's all we got. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, except for this footage we're going to leave you with of the Jazz House Big Band. Oh, nice. Play us out, Johnny. <laughs> From the Idaho Falls Chamber of Commerce 120th celebration mm-hmm. this past weekend. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>